In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a simple website using Microsoft Word. Now, the first thing that we want to do is we're going to go to our insert menu and uh, we're going to insert a table. Now, it's good to work with tables because at least you have a way to organize the data that you're working with. So, I'm going to insert a table here with just one row and four columns. And we're going to add some content in here. So, let's say we're creating a website for our projects, okay? That we can highlight or showcase all the projects that we have been working on. And so, I have some projects here. An order repair, and let's have another project here, maybe a library project or something. There we go. All right. So the next thing that is important also is to change the layout as well. If we see the different views that we have, and we're going to change this to the this here. Um, oh. So I'm going to change this to the web layout, okay? So in your view menu, you can go to web layout. Currently, we're in the print layout. So I'm going to go to web layout. This kind of gives us an idea of um, how your web page will be laid out. Uh, let me just delete this. Okay, so this is pretty much the layout. I'm going to just expand this column a little bit. Uh, should I say expand the table to the extreme width of the the layout, the page, so that we can pretty much have that expanded in the preview that we'll see shortly. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and insert insert some pictures. All right, so we're gonna use Google to select a background image. And I'm just going to copy this one into a new tab and then I'm going to copy that into my Word document. Okay, so now that I've uh, copied that, I'm just going to paste it here. And now we can do some resizing because this is very big. I think I'm just going to crop this image. Let's go to crop. Let's form a picture crop. And we're going to Get, all, get this down to a manageable portion here. And I guess this is good enough. Alright, and what we can do is to resize the image. Alright, so we can resize that image. And we can also format the image. So I'm going to go right click here on the image, go to wrap text and behind text. That would ensure that I can put this behind the content that I have on my page. What I want to do as well with the information that I have here in the table is maybe change the style, maybe heading style, apply heading style here. Maybe also change the font. All right, probably apply bold. change the color a bit. Okay, let me see here. I'm going to change the color a bit. Darker color. And then I can also add a page color. I'm just going to add a background here. I'm just going to go to insert shapes. And I'm just going to add something to the background here. Stretch this a little bit more. 
move it. save the changes and then I'm going to go to my next file which contains the information here for the healthy living project and also the other files for technology repair and library as well so these are all word separate word documents that I want this uh, to link this particular um, hyperlink when I insert the hyperlink here for it to link to these other pages so I'm gonna go ahead and get those documents uh, done right now so here I have some additional files that I want to uh, work on so we have the library project we have the healthy or living healthy PowerPoint file we also have the technology repair files these are three other files that I want to have these are all the files I want to have uh, on my website for my projects so the file that we're currently working with is the my projects is the one that we, we have started and so we want to link that uh, to the other files here technology repair the healthy living and also the library project so let's go ahead and open these files and then we can uh, add those links also that we have here in this main home page to the other pages as well let's go ahead and do that now all right so here we have the technology repair file so what I want to go ahead and do is to save this well both this one as well as the library project you want to save both of these as a dot html file okay so what we're going to do we're going to go to file save as and then we'll save that as a dot html um, file so let's see if we can do that now and if i go to the save as option here i'll have the option to save it as dot html well there's this option here web page so it will save it as a dot html or html file so let's do that right now so once i do this all right so it will be saved as a dot html you can see that um, change there let's go to the next file we'll do the same thing for that so we'll go to file save as and let's save this as a .html. That's a web page uh, option right here. Save. Okay. And uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna go back to our main page here because what we want to do is to add those links in uh, for the healthy living i will just simply link this to the powerpoint file itself and so i'm going to right click here highlight right click and i'm going to go to the option for oh well, let's do that again okay let's do that again let's see option for inserting um, let's, let's try something here one moment Click on OK right here, and that should do it. 
for the technology up here I'm gonna also do the same thing I'm gonna go to my insert menu then go to links and link and click on the link option here and then insert link okay and then it's gonna take me to this notice I have the Word document as well as the .htm page. What I wanted to do is actually link to the the .htm page. Okay, so I'm going to click on that and then click on OK. Now I'll do the same thing for library as well. I'm going to go back to the option for links, link, and down here insert link. And uh, let's find the library project. Here we go. All right, so once that is done, we should pretty much see that working the way it should. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, save this, save the changes, Control S, shortcut key to do that. And then we'll try to preview this and see how it looks on the web. So let's do that right now. Okay, so currently uh, we don't have the .htm page or file for the home page currently we just simply have the my projects home dot docx which is just a word document so in order for us to be able to see this as a web page or view it within a web browser we'll have to change this extension so we'll have to save that again so let's do that now and then we can preview it all right so we're going to go ahead and save this home page We'll save as now we're gonna save this now with the extension dot uh, htm okay there we go my page click on save and now this will allow us to be able to view this as a website so let's go ahead and view that right now Alright, great. So now that we have our My Projects um, web page here, we can now go ahead and view that by right clicking. And then we go to the option to open with. And then we can choose whatever browser we need to. If we do need to make or edit or uh, make any changes to this uh, web page, then we can go to the option for Word here. And this will allow us to make changes or edit the page so let's go ahead and open this in microsoft edge see what it looks like all right great so now you are noticing that you're seeing my home page and we're seeing the hyperlinks to the other pages if i click on this option for the healthy living it will simply just allow me to open the the powerpoint that i have created or linked to this page all right so if i go back to if i so i'm gonna just go ahead and, if i go to the technology repair uh link here it will of course take me to that page there's no way to get back from this page so let's use the back option there for the browser if we need to add that shortly we'll just copy and paste to the other documents to get those links in but for the library page as well, we can click on that, it navigates to, to the, uh, the page that we have created for, for that. So let's jump back into Word and do some editing so we can get this to work the way we want it to work. All right, let's do it. Okay, so before I copy this to the others, I think I want to make some changes here to the table. I'm just going to hide the borders here, so I'm going to go to table design and uh, no, I think it's design and borders yes and I'm gonna just hide the borders by just saying no borders here so it looks a little bit uh, better in terms of the layout and the appearance so uh, what I'm gonna do as well I'm just gonna copy this to the other pages copy and paste let's go to this page I want to do that in Okay, it's already in web layouts mode, so let me go ahead, let's kind of change the layout here a bit. All right, there we go, and I'll also do the same for this page, it's already in web mode, so, okay, there we go. All right, the next thing that I want to do, is I'll save the changes, 
Next thing that I want to do here is to add a image that I have on the other pages so we have a consistent look and feel to the website that we have. insert the one for home so I'm going to go ahead to insert on the menu here and link and insert link and ensure that we go back to projects I think I also want to form this design here so I'm going to go to borders and just go to the border do the same save the changes here do the same for Let's go back to table design and borders, remove the borders here, and we should be good to go, save the changes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to that browser again, and let's see how it works this time. So let's go ahead and, and do that right now. Okay, so here we are, and uh, just looking at this again, let's see if we'll get a chance to be navigated to the next page. So I'm gonna click on this link here, menu for technology repair. And there we go, it takes us to that page. All right, so of course you can format this a little bit better. So it appears a little bit more professional. If we go back to home, there we go. Uh, let's click on the library page. There we go, it takes us right to the library. Once again, this could be formatted a little bit better and adjusted some more. Um, but nonetheless, this is the basic idea of how you can work with Microsoft Word to create a basic web page. So I hope that this tutorial actually helped you in some way. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell as well for more videos. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Ciao.